why am I still in college? And if you're in high school, should I actually go to college? And to be honest, the simple answer is why pre white of Wagon, it's your boy Jonathan Singh. And I have a question, right? Have you ever wondered why you are where you are now and where you want to go? I kind of ask myself this question about every few hours and I still haven't come to an answer yet. I find myself wondering why I'm here and what exactly is next for me. The title of this video suggests when I'm supposed to be graduating college and after that... There are many reasons why you may have this question similar to me. Whether it's the drive you have for yourself, the passion you have for something you love, or the various things that have happened in your past that led you to where you are now. So let me tell you a little bit about my personal experience. I don't want to worry you guys with my entire life story, so I'm going to start from high school where things start making sense or make absolutely no sense at all. When you're a kid, let's say between the ages of 3 and 12, people always ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And usually you have some good answers, you know, like you want to be a pilot, a dentist, a surgeon, because you don't know what it takes to be any of those things, you just see those things and you like them and you want to be them. But in high school, the question kind of changes from what do you want to be when you grow up to what do you want to do with your life? For me personally, as I said when I was young, I really wanted to be a pilot. But as I got older, I got really interested into technology, phones and computers. IT was my favorite course throughout my entire high school life and I decided to take it on now in college. I was always pretty good at statistics and numbers, but as the grades got higher, so did the complexity of the math and then I kind of just dropped it after fifth form when I did add math. And for anybody who's confused, CXE and CAPE is kind of like the SATs or A-levels depending on the country that you're in, I don't know. But that's kind of so you guys can understand the reference. So at this point, just before college, you kind of have to decide what you want to do because you can't go to college and just say, hey, I'm going to just do college or hey, I'm just going to pick a course. You have to kind of know what you want to do and what you want to major in. So when I first graduated high school in free form, I didn't know what I wanted to do and I was trying to figure out if I should just go straight into college at UTEC and study computer science or if I should go to sixth form, do Cape and go to UE or abroad. And my grandma said, hey, if you already don't know what you want to do, just go to sixth form. So that's what I did. And in Cape, I tried to keep my options as open as possible. I studied computer science, entrepreneurship, gaming and animation, along with the mandatory courses. And that kind of helped, but it kind of also didn't help because even after those two whole years of going through Cape, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. Leading up to the point where I decided I'm going to study computer science at EV, which is what I've been doing for the past two and a half years. And as you guys know, that's around the same time that Corona hit. So I honestly only got to experience one semester and a half of face-to-face -face college. Everything else was online. And let me just track back for a bit. In around 2016, when I was in Florida with my aunt, I had too many drinks of Red Bull, of course. While I was playing games with my friends, they were like, yo, why don't you just make a YouTube video? And that was my first Q&A video. And at that point, I was just making skits, tiny little videos, vlogs, just random things that I found interesting at the time. But after a few months of doing it after summer, I kind of got bored of it and I decided to stop. But right before college in 2019, my little brother asked me to make a YouTube video and that's when I started back. And since then, I've been consistent as I possibly can for you guys. I've been making the best content possible. So while I was going to classes, I was simultaneously making YouTube videos. So I would skip classes to make YouTube videos. I had friends in my classes who would let me know if there are assignments to or if there are coursework or if there is homework. So big up to everybody who helped me throughout college. And also big up to the people who helped me film videos. When I just started college, I started making videos with my friends, doing public videos, public pranks, interviews, asking my friends about their lives, how they feel about themselves, and a lot more stuff. You guys can go and check out those videos. They should still be up. So at this point, I was probably the most dedicated I've ever been doing YouTube. I used to make notes in my notepad on my iPhone, and I used to airdrop them to everybody who has an iPhone in my class. Obviously, most people declined, but the few that I did actually accepted and subscribed. And at that point, I had less than 1,000 subscribers. And today, I'm proud to say that we have over 44,000 of you guys. So thank you so much for the continued support. And if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed already, the subscribe button is right here and the like button is right here. And those things are totally free. So stop what you're doing, subscribe to me and like the video. Thank you so much. This really helps me. From pretty early on, I had to learn how to manage school and YouTube. And for most of you guys, that would be school and work. But 
between those things, there's also life. We all have our own personal things that we go through at home. We all have lives outside of the things that we have to get done. And a part of this difficulty is in between all of that, we still have to try and figure out what it is we want to do and where we want to go in life. And there's always this constant pressure of you trying to figure out what it is that you want to do after whatever phase in life you are in, whether it's high school or college. Or even if the choices that you've made in the past have been the right choices for you. At this point, you guys are probably thinking, this guy already figured out what he wants to do or where he wants to go. But honestly, that's furthest from the truth. Throughout my entire time at college, I always contemplated switching courses, switching majors, dropping out completely, dropping YouTube, continuing YouTube, going full time. I've had so many options throughout my life in college. And I've always contemplated pursuing something else. Because the thing is, life isn't straightforward and we make life changing choices every single day whether you realize it or not so while i was still in the midst of figuring myself out the worst thing that could happen to any of us actually happened corona prime minister andrew holness says there's no need for panic jamaica is now the fifth caribbean country to confirm an imported case of the novel coronavirus college is the cornerstone of the world's education system which is really strange because you don't actually learn a lot in college. Really and truly, you learn more about yourself, more about life and how other people interact. But I wouldn't say you learn a lot, especially in classes, seeing that they're online now. And I'm not saying not to pay attention in the online classes. I mean, if you're a men's student, a dental student or something, law, please pay attention in your classes. I can't help you, my thing kind of different. But after Corona came, I had more time to myself. I was at home majority of the time. I had more time to be creative. I had more time to make creative content for you guys. YouTube literally became the first thing I did when I wake up and the last thing I did before I went to sleep. However, the entire time I was a full-time college student getting my homework done, getting my exams in, but you guys would never know. So the question I have for myself and the question I'm sure a lot of my viewers have because most of you guys are between the ages of about 15 and 25 is why am I still in college? And if you're in high school, should I actually go to college? And to be honest, the simple answer is, I don't know. What do you want? Everybody's life is different and everybody's circumstance is different. And everyone is given different opportunities. But you have to take advantage of all the opportunities given to you, regardless of what it is. And to be honest, you'll never know the results of the decisions you've made until long after you've already made those decisions. And you've seen the results of them, whether they're good or bad. So make the most of your decision no matter what you decide to do. Otherwise, you're going to regret it. And that goes for anybody, anywhere, doing anything. Hopefully I can look back on this video and all the other content that I've made so far and laugh. And laugh in a good way because honestly, I'm not sure where I'm going to end up or where I'm going to be, but I'm having a lot of fun right now. So uh, I think that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share this video with your friend if you enjoy. And we'll see y'all next time. Like kinda. <laughs>